Welcome to Nadia's Kitchen Creations. This episode I'm making miso soup, my version. So for this really simple and tasty, healthy recipe, you will need your favorite set of noodles. I chose a green tea noodle. So just prepare that, rinse it and set it aside. You'll need one to one and a half cups of broth, depending on how much liquid you like in your soups. I chose to use a chicken broth and you can use a vegetable broth or just simply water. your noodles. I used half a cup of cooked chicken. You can use beef or tofu. So for vegetables, I had sliced carrots, sliced onions, sliced red cabbage. You can use white cabbage or Napa cabbage and sliced mushrooms. I used brown mushrooms. You can use your favorite mushroom. And then you're going to need some miso paste and that does have salt in it. If you do use a broth, make sure it's unsalted. For this single serving recipe, I just use a heaping teaspoon of miso paste. So just whisk that into the broth until it's dissolved. Should take one to two minutes. And then you can add your vegetables, depending on how soft you like them, add those the ones you like the softest first. So I went ahead and added a handful of mushrooms, onions, cabbage, and also you can add some fresh ginger if you want at this point, especially if you're sick. That really helps to clear out anything if you have a head cold or scratchy throat or even an upset stomach. Then after a couple minutes, I went ahead and added the carrots, simmering that for another one to two minutes. My chicken is cooked, so I just went ahead and added that to the soup and just cover that for about a minute. And then I added my cooked noodles and we're just putting that in there long enough just to reheat everything. You could put probably put it in at the same time as the chicken, that's up to you. And that's pretty much it. A really simple, tasty, and healthy soup done in definitely under 15 minutes. And please subscribe to Nadia's Kitchen Creations for new videos. Leave a comment if you tried this or any other recipe and kindly share this video on your social media sites. That would be greatly appreciated. I do thank you for that. And again, if you want more broth, go ahead and add a little bit more broth, but that was a good amount for me. And of course, you can very easily double up this recipe or quadruple it up if you have more people to serve. And I like to add a little extra to my soup, a nice squeeze of hot sauce. I love sesame oil, so I like a little drizzle of sesame oil. And some dried seaweed. And that's it. Enjoy. Thank you so much for watching Nadia's Kitchen Creations. See you next time.